Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a really fun weekend project to brighten up your garden, give it a big pop of colour and use up old seat cushions and old furniture that you might have been thinking about throwing out. So have a look at this one. This is the old chair I have. I only have two left as the rest of them have rusted away. As you can see from this cushion cover, it's badly faded, quite old and really doesn't look very well. So I'm going to show you how to revive that with some furniture paint. Yeah, this is paint that I use on furniture. It's eggshell, advanced eggshell from Fleetwood Paints. Now, if you're watching from America, that would be a furniture paint that you would be using. This is a self-sealing, self-leveling furniture paint. So have a look and see what I do with this. So the first thing I did was I got a shower bottle, an old shower bottle. I cleaned it out and filled it with water. I sprayed the fabric to get it a little bit damp so that it would take the paint easier. I didn't dampen down this paint at all, or water down, should I say, this paint at all, because it's thin enough. However, as I went on, I was painting in the sun, I was painting in the heat, and I did find that I had to add a little bit of water to the paint as it was just thickening on me in the sun. So next time, don't paint in the sun, get into the shade. So here's me doing one very quick coat on it and then I put it over the fence to dry. As you can see, the patterns of the fabric still showed through even with the second coat. Thank God, I actually quite liked that. I didn't want to lose it completely. But at this stage, it felt a little bit rough. Now, it didn't go very, very hard, but it did feel a little bit rough. So I decided to go in with a super fine sanding pad and give it a little rub all over. That totally smoothed it down and made it feel like glass. Now, I was ready to go in with my wax. I used Johnson's Finishing Wax, which I bought in my local DIY store, and simply rubbed it on with a J-cloth. Moving on to the chairs, I just got a small brush and myself and my 10-year-old daughter gave the metal chairs a lick of this metal paint. And they turned out like brand new. Couldn't believe it. Straight over all the rust that you can see there, absolutely fantastic. I couldn't put my beautiful newly painted cushions onto those old grey rusted chairs. So with that metal paint, they became brand new again. And there you go. There's both of them finished. I did the second one in a paint called Shabby Avocado. The first was, one was in Shabby Deep Pink and they both look absolutely fantastic together. I was so thrilled with how these turned out. And there you have it. That is well worth giving them a go. Now, questions I get asked about this. Will they wear well? Yeah, they wear okay. Are they shower resistant? Yeah, they are actually. Um, a couple of my customers have actually done this over a year ago and they're still wearing well. Yes, they might have to be topped up if you're gonna leave them out for six or seven months in all the elements, but other than that, just clean them down and give them another lick of paint again. Now, one thing is they do look and feel like leather uh, when they're painted but I have yet to find any outdoor cushions in big, bright pops of colour like these, and they made a huge difference to my garden. So give it a go. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all the videos that are coming up. And thank you very much.